An understandable definition of the mastermind is this. It consists of two or more people who work in perfect harmony for the attainment of a definite purpose. When you get a little money, I say it could change you or make you. I ain't spin number facts now. Fat Sean. What you do, Quan? I made a little money, then I move my mama, you're yeah, straight out of the hood. I do not have to explain nothing to you if it's misunderstood. Hey, I like them blunts and I'm smoking a swish, so they smoking bad woods. I do not want that little every little bit, but I swear that I'm good. Running that Benny Moose, same motherfucker, I'm gripping the wood. All of that money I made, but I swear I wouldn't change if I could. Stripes on that 442 cutlet, your boy, I just painted the hood. Feeling like Morgan Freeman leaning on me, I'm drinking the mud. Diamonds they shining like water, bubbles they looking like suds. I got this hoe screaming so loud, like she getting whipped in the tub. I'm dancing, I'm black and I'm proud. Jane Brown, he knew what it was. If you start shooting them shots, you'll see I'm shooting it up. Talking about guns, I keep that shit on me, I swear that it loads. I stay on my lid like coffee, but I be all like I'm on fortune. My bitch, she be nagging because I keep sassy bitch and coming up. I pulled up the light, I was smashing, I bought that B and bought no rope. She short like a leprechaun and got good look like a little foley clover. She didn't wanna take off her penny, so I told the whole pull them over. Yeah, when I realized the system fucked up and ain't talking no soul, I. Nope. Got so much swag, I'm out of space, I thought I told you. Yeah, right. If you give him some money, he will not say nothing from us, he won't budge. Your Joe Horn looking nice. <laughs> <laughs> or your motherfucking uh, Aaron Brooks looking nice, man. <laughs> Deuce McAllister looking nice, boy. Your Warwick Dunn looking nice, boy. Or your motherfucking uh, Michael Jenkins looking nice, boy. <laughs> <laughs> your motherfucking. Uh, don't get your motherfucking <clears throat> Troy Smith looking nice out there, boy. Your motherfucking. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. John David Booty looking at his boy. <laughs> Motherfucker. I heard that name in Bricks, though. And he used to uh, QB for the Jags. That nigga's some shit. Yeah, uh, boy, you David Garrard looking ass, boy. <laughs> hey, now that's my man. You're Larry Fitzgerald looking ass, boy. Boy, you're paying his price on this. <laughs> paying You're Foxy Brown looking ass. You're not good with names? You don't know who Foxy Brown is? I do know who Foxy Brown is, but I can't be like, boy, you're uh, where's Waldo looking at? Some shit like that. Like, Brandon laughed. <laughs> 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 Shit, I look like Steve-O. Shit, Neil look like Steve-O. She do look like Steve-O. You know who you look like? Who you look like? You look like Lupe Fiasco. Boy, you look like motherfucking, fucking nigga. You look like fucking Devin Thomas. <laughs> What the kids say, on fleek. <laughs> okay. That's Malaysian? No, this is, um, this is Peruvian. Peruvian. Ooh, I want Oh, I seen that in the stores. I didn't know that shit lit nah, up. This shit is about the pearl. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm shocked. Yeah. Why? Because I don't want it. I don't want to drink at all. You no. Know, I know that though. <laughs> I told y'all I was gonna guess it. Ooh! Lame, you never shot. I hate, I hate somebody. I'm trying to burn the fuck out my throat. Did you record that vlog on Instagram? <laughs> 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 this ain't it. Don't say shit. Everything. <laughs> Don't say shit. That's not it. Don't say shit. I've been drinking it all weekend. Like, that's not it. So, you been hot. There ain't no tobacco. It's a uh, Sebeka. Oh. <laughs> 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 Ugh! <laughs> 
That don't got nasty aftertaste. Look, she about to take the lamp off the table. <laughs> Damn, I don't want more juice. Them little ass ice cubes. So what? Look at that little pouch even. Alright, so take a guess. What is it? Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty. Yes. So I need my ID. I got my car. I got one. Fix your face. Cause I still taste it. I definitely take my bank car. No free shit. Like, man, I know what it is, man. Go follow me on IG, Crown, underscore DC, 26. My joy, yeah, man. Come fuck with us, Mr. Chat Party, man. <laughs> it's my joy, yeah, man. Details coming out Christmas night, man. Go follow my cousin, man. Randy Pro, man. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all functions is too expensive. No, they're not. You know you're free. I went free down here at the uh That was something different. That oh okay. That Make sure this not something different. Nah, I told you right now that's on camera, you free. Oh okay. <laughs> Y'all hear that I'm free. <laughs> yeah, bring Mallory out. You should have got us at the same time. Shout out to a little entertainment and Rachel promo. Make sure y'all come out to the Christmas mystery shot party, right? Cause they're giving out free gifts and shit. situation you feel me if you ain't working then you ain't gonna see the results you want to see if you ain't putting that work nigga then don't be expecting nothing don't expect to collect nothing because you ain't work for nothing 
Bottom line. Okay, but to me, in my opinion, work ethic means like how hard you work at to do, how hard you work to do something. Like everybody can do like the steps it takes to get to a certain point, but you're gonna get a different result depending on how hard you worked at each step. So I guess the final result will determine your work ethic. Like, your work, your work ethic. Because I mean, I mean life. You know what I'm saying? Everybody steps is different. Everybody will have a different result. Everybody will have a better result depending on how hard they work. So. Work ethic is how hard you work before you get to the goal. Work ethic to me is like going the extra mile, you know. You want more, so you got to put more than the next person does that want the same thing as you. You know, it's like, you know, that person want to eat, he want to take food on your table. You're doing what you're trying to do to pay bills and put food on your table. So you got to treat it like that nigga right there, if he going harder than you, then he making sure that you not eating that, that day, that week, that month, or you not getting a bill paid, or he taking food off your plate, off your family's plate. You know, you gotta go harder than that person, just period. You know, what you put in is what you get out at the end of the day. Our truth, it's like, you know, just go the extra mile. Most niggas not even gonna go the first mile. So you gotta make sure you got the leg up and go the extra mile. When niggas sleep at night, I'm up working, period. You know, and then I still get up and work at 6.30 in the morning and, and, and live a normal lifestyle. And then once I get off work, we got these shows, it's time to grind, videos, flies, all of that. You know, your work ethic can't never be questioned. It gotta be a hundred at all times, you know, and It'll pay off dividends in the end. And you might not see the results tomorrow, but you just keep etching at the ice block, and over time, it's gonna pay off for you. You know, and that's just what I try to teach everybody. You know, all my team members. It's like everybody be accountable for each other, but make sure you put that work in, and you gonna see it. If I don't see it, then it's somebody else watching you. They gonna see it.